welcome mortals, I'm Dark Lord Kaiser, and this is Dungeon Keeper. The original one, not the crappy mobile remake that EA did because they hate people. I don't know what they were thinking with that, that was a stupid idea. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the mobile game, well, I'll get into the uh, this version and I'll show you exactly what you could do in, uh, in the original one. Okay. That's happening now. Skip past that. So, we'll continue game. Obviously, I haven't recorded any more of this. This is just... Water Dream War. Ooh, a place. A region of pointless frolicking and endless pleasure. No one here understands the true meaning of suffering and random shocking violence meted out arbitrarily. How frightfully saccharine. Let's sort that out, shall we? So yes, don't worry about me having played some other levels before. You've not missed any episodes. I've just played it in my free time. Just because it's a good game. It's a fun game. I am playing this in teeny weeny eye strain vision Um, it's, yeah. The only way I could get this thing to record was to play it in a tiny little screen in the middle of my, uh, my, uh, computer. So, I apologise if I miss anything obvious. I'm going to be struggling to see it, but it's a good game, so I'm going to play it anyway. Okay, build a dungeon, treasure room, layer, yeah, 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 build stuff, make things do good. Now, how do I zoom out again? Ah, that's better. Oh yeah, I could have just click these. Oh well. So, first and foremost, we need monies. Minions! Acquire me gold. I'll get all of the gold. Uh, where's the... that was more gold over here. Eh, stick that out too. Why not? To store gold. Don't tell me what to do, narrator. Believe it or not, I do know what I'm doing. What I'm doing... Making it. You must have enough gold. Well, yeah, but I'm getting gold now, so shut up. I'm building a bigger treasure room. Give me a bloody minute, mate. Some people, no patience. I'll go there, mining out over there. Whatever. Now, in Dungeon Keeper 2, this area directly around the Dungeon Heart was a treasure room by default, which is uh, why I like to make that a thing here as well. Yeah, if you guys could claim more area for me, then I could make more treasure room. That's how this works. No, they have to mine first. Show a portal around somewhere. There's the portal. Well, there's no point getting that yet. There's nowhere to... Uh... Nowhere for the people... The people. For the monsters to live. So yes, all of what you've seen me do in this so far of, you know, dig out these two very small rooms. If you were playing the um, mobile game, that would have taken you either about six days or several real world pounds. Because that's how it worked, you were, uh, from what I've, uh, I understood. I never played the game because I don't hate myself. But apparently the way it worked was that tasks took a real amount uh, sorry, a real world amount of time, but you could speed it up by um, buying this fake gem currency thing for real money and uh, if, I used, if you used the gems you could make it somewhat playable right, I don't like how this room looks, so let's square it off a bit, shall we? More rectangular than square, so we'll add a little line back there. Oh, I missed one. How many imps do I have at this point? Oh, don't do that. Seven. Uh, two things. I really like the ability to slap random minions. 
Like, be better at what I want you to do. No. Dig, slave. Right, well, I might as well start turning this into a layer. Yes, we'll make this bit a layer. The inefficiency to which these imps work is irritating. So they've not dug out this bit over here or claimed any of these areas over here. They've sort of claimed this stupid arbitrary path of stupid. Now that's what I get for trying to get imps to do real world jobs, I suppose. Alrighty, so... I've done a stupid, I've put a layer over here. It would have made more sense to put the layer on the way to the... Impenetrable rock? Oh, right, to come at it from the side then. Okay, so I have to come from that direction for some stupid reason. Okay, well. We'll do that then. I don't want to keep getting that corner. I don't want that corner. Once I've got a layer, then creatures can come and uh, and have somewhere to sleep. It's one of those games where if uh, you don't have the room shape right, this little wall of fire around here doesn't work properly, and that's sort of saying, "Oh, this is the so it's, oh, this is the most efficient room this could possibly be." So, if we've got an entrance. Oh, we got a creature. What have we got? Oh, a beetle. Let's make this into a nice little hatchery there. So there's our beetle. Work faster, slave. So turn this into a hatchery. As you can see, it's a really inefficient system, so it doesn't have the fire going around it properly. So you can see now the fire's going around, but it's quite small. So I've got to make it nice and square. As you can see, the fire much bigger now. So with the, uh, the little red flames at its highest, it's saying this is the most efficient this room could be, the most efficient it is. Well, the better it works for our creatures. Right, so what do we need next? A training room. We'll put the training room over here, because what the hell. It is surprisingly hard to get a straight line drawn with a when the screen's this small. Oh! Hang on a minute, there no. Okay. Um, sorry. Interrupted again. Just, uh, someone asking if I wanted to go to the shops. I don't. And then the doorbell rang. Right, where was I? I was making a training room. Because I've got beetles, but they is all weak as crap. Oh, I can build a library now. Libraries get me spells and warlocks. Well, they get me warlocks, the warlocks get me spells. Okay. Five beetles and fly. Dig, 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 dig. What's this? Yeah, I've, I've noticed there's a fly. Ooh, a demon spawn. Ew, train. Though, they'll probably uh, get an arc because they haven't got a layer or anything, but they can figure that out in their own time. I'm building a library. Because the most important things to our creatures is to make them strong and then to make them smart. So this being such an early level, I doubt I'll be able to get anything other than this library. And it'll say, oh, research and spells, and the spells, I'll research one spell, that it. So, this is not a challenging level, this is just a bit of fun. Now 
There we are, built the library. That eye is probably telling me that I need to build a bigger one. No, it's just telling me library summons warlocks. Yes, I know. This game is probably older than I am now I think about it. It is payday. Oh, is it? Good for them. Good job I've got a load of money, or that would be a problem. There we are, one library. Right, and if they're going to take all my money, I better dig some more out. There we go. Why do I get the feeling that this is leading me somewhere? Oh, come on. Someone's at the door. I'll... Someone else who can deal with it. Right. Now what? Sir. Penetrable rock that way. And it's telling me that there's warlocks in the dungeon and that warlocks are good fighters. But, mainly, they good for research, so go make me spells. Okay, I think we just leave this to do its thing for a wee while. And let's make the lair a bit bigger. Now I've more experience playing Dungeon Keeper 2 than I have playing Dungeon Keeper Vanilla. Because that was the one my... Uh, actually my brother owned it when we were young. Um, younger, I suppose. So... I'm more familiar with the mechanics of that version. But I am aware that there are certain creatures that don't like to share layers. And that becomes a, an issue later on. There is nothing left to research. Okay, so I can make creatures faster now. How do we do that? We find a creature and we click on it. Be faster, you. Right, now. Everything go in there. You, go in there. Train. Be strong, my creatures. Minions of darkness, you cannot afford to be weak. I've got that, I <laughs> just noticed. That might have been incredibly obvious to you viewers, but as I said, I'm playing this in a teeny tiny little screen. The recording window is 643 by 479. It's, it's, it's small, basically. If you put your hand on the screen, my hand actually covers the uh, the entirety of the the window I'm playing in. So you can see how that might be an issue for seeing little things like what the hell's going on. Where the hell are all my oh is my treasure room full again? Uh again there. Now if they'd hurry up and dig this area out I could make it into a treasure room for them. Just know you lazy selves. Do stuff. It is possible to slap these creatures to death. That would be next time to train a warlock. I am training a warlock. There they are. I'm training them. I already put them in there. If they wandered off, that would be their own bloody fault. Right. We don't need to worry too much about efficiency. The treasure rooms. I mean, I bet you probably could worry about efficiency, but I don't, so... Yeah. Is this a good design? No. Is it a necessary one? Kind of. So my imps keep running off to the side of the map. So I'm thinking once I tunnel through here, I'm going to stumble across the Lord of the Land or something, because there's... In the earliest levels, in the very early ones, you just did whatever the tutorial told you to do, and then the Lord of the Land just sort of appeared. Um... So I'm wondering if on these ones, I finally have to actually hunt the little bugger out. 
I remember in the uh, in Dungeon Keeper 2, I think it was Dungeon Keeper 2, there was an excruciatingly difficult level where the Lord of the Land basically appeared at one side of the map, just ran from one end to the other, didn't stop to fight or anything like that, and you had to try and kill him before he got to the other end of the map. As soon as you got to the other end, he vanished. And it was game over, you lose. Um, so you essentially have this very thin area to work with, like a walkway. So you just sort of cover it with traps and guard rooms and you know, lay your minions out and try and do a little bit of damage every time you went past somewhere. So just to delay him enough to kill him. And I remember that one. As a kid, I was never able to defeat that. Not without using the uh, the cheats. Which I can't remember, which I could look up, but I can't be bothered. I don't need to, not for this sort of level of... Uh... Right, I'm making some more minions, because these lazy buggers are too slow. Not short on gold. Got a slight treasure room, damn it. There, you literally don't have to go anywhere to make treasure. I'm putting the... the treasure is dropping into the treasure room now. There, that should do it. So my theory is that as soon as I tunnel past here, I'm going to open up a new area and then I do some fighting. Ah. I guess not. Okay, game, what do you want me to do? Make it excellent time to train a warlock. I'm training warlocks! Oh, they're both level 3 already. Or well, level 3 of a possible 10, I suppose, but. I could have made the training room bigger, but there's not much point. I'm not getting any more monsters. Made the lair bigger, but no one's coming. There's no point having any more spells, because I've researched them all. I'll just tunnel over there, see what I can find. Tunnel to the edge of the map, maybe something will be here over here. Panish will rock over here, but... You have tunneled into a new see what... area. Ah, there we go. It's water. Okay. Well... You wanna start playing with this area for me, buddy? There you go. Work faster. So, I could tunnel along the side here, follow the waterway that way, or I could make a fly do it. The flies are natural scouts, they just sort of, if ever they find any little areas like this, they'll just naturally fly along it. Until they get bored, I guess. What are you doing? Go faster. And now he's got super speed on, because why the hell not? So I'm wondering if he's going to stumble into the uh, the enemy, at which point I can then just kill him. But Well, that's a thing. Someone go dig that, see what happens. Given all this is impenetrable rock, it surprises me that there's a single diggle piece right at the end of the pathway. So it wouldn't surprise me if there's a secret area, or even if that's where I'm supposed to go in the end. Who knows? Stop going backwards on yourself. Oh, well, we'll go to this end and see what happens. Um, I saw you running in this direction. Why did you stop? Look, that looks very corridor-like to me. Let's dig into it, see what we find. You gonna say I found a new area? Are you gonna say I found a new area? You have tunneled into a new area. I have. And this looks like a bad place. So in other words, if I could get one of my sodding minions to start 
now. Yeah, claim this area for my min min uh, dominion. No, don't just wander around. Claim it. I want to drop people over here so I can fight. Not like I can tunnel over here, dude. Do a thing. Literally any of you do something. Really? Ah, there we are. We found the bad guys. Unfortunately, um, I don't have any means of getting any of my actual monsters over here because you wouldn't claim the damn place. But I suppose I could. Let's not follow me now. So if I find out with the last, there we are. Your creatures are under attack. Good for them. I'm just gonna turn on the straight line. Your creatures are over attacking the enemy. Yeah. Yeah, cut, cut it out. Stop it. Do a thing. What the hell? Your creatures are under attack. Oh wow, they uh, they were significantly closer to my to me than I thought. Oh, they've tunneled in, tunneled into each other's enemy. areas. Okay, guess we're fighting now. Your minions are winning a battle. Come on, creatures, fight. You're going in the wrong direction. Your creatures are fight here. There you go. Your creatures are there we go. Good for them. Luckily, all of the... All these enemies are level 1, all my enemy creatures are like level 4, Your so are I think we're going to be alright. Just got to, uh... So at this point we're just going to wait for my imps to claim enough of the area to find more bad guys, basically. As soon as we start claiming these areas we'll get all their money as well, so... I suspect that these guys were tunneling towards my area. I just didn't actually break in. Or well, they'd just broken in somewhere and then because we... Ah! In fact, yeah, I can see that. They've, uh, they're trying to tunnel in over here. So I need to keep an eye out for where the... Uh... If I'm paying attention to the map, I would have seen this sort of white wiggly worm thing. It indicates they're tunneling. I've got reinforced walls, so they're sort of taking the path of least resistance and just going along the side of it. So I think they might come around this edge over here. So I need to keep an eye out for that. Alternatively, I could tunnel my way into theirs and really screw them, but I think by the time I've done that. There we are, see, they've tunneled out over here. The enemy has broken through the walls. here. Well, not really. Your creatures are attacking the enemy. Ah! I've surrounded him. Watch your plan now, smart guy. Winning a battle. First wave of attackers hacked to pieces on the floor. Give your domain that lived in feeling. It won't be sh but it surely won't be long before their kin launch another assault. Yeah, well, I'm sort of invading their place now, so... I think we'll be alright. Given they sent, like, four level one dwarves to attack. We're literally, we're, we're claiming the area they just dug. So, uh, but this right here is a bit I need to be careful of. That's the hero gate. So in other words, when it's time to, uh, for the Lord of the Land to appear, he's going to pop out from here. Well, let's, uh, they'll claim their money. I don't, <laughs> I don't even need to do much. I can just, there we are. I own all their cash now. I don't really know what the point of all that was. Uh, I'm guessing their Lord of the Land's going to be a bit of a pain now, so let's train up all my guys. Everybody be stronger now. Uh, yeah, they're all level 5 and 6 now, so that's, uh, that training is coming along. So I need to keep an eye on that, but I don't really think there's much else for me to do until, uh, until they turn up. Yeah, 
Now it's just a waiting game. Yeah, as I did the uh, the earlier missions as a um, a warm up, so just, as I said in a previous video, recording this particular game is a, a bit of a hassle because the only way I can get it to work is in this tiny little screen. So I did a couple of um, the early levels Where just to sort of. Oh. Where is he? There he is. Okay. My imps are under attack. No one cares about them. Everybody come here. Yep, there we are. Said so the uh, the earlier levels, the Lord of the Land appeared to fight significantly early. See, the Lord of the Land's only level one still, so matter of seconds he'll be dead. Yep, there we are. Of course, I have conquered this realm. I am Dark Lord Kaiser. What did you expect? Failure? I think not. You meet with success yet again, Keeper. All these corpses will keep your hatcheries topsoil fertile. They also serve as warnings to other foolhardy adventurers, of course. So, uh, press space to proceed to the next realm. So, minions, I need a stasis report of this new land we've claimed. With his dread. This place now has a proper name because of what you did here. There is a healthy disrespect for life and you'll be amused to hear that cannibalism has gained a strong foothold amongst the ragged inhabitants. Oh, spectacular. That's much more like it, isn't it? Okay. So, I think we've got ourselves a name. Dark Lord Kaiser. Okay, I think I may have called one of my uh, test runs banana. <laughs> oh, Dicky Boy, that was one of my other test runs as well. All the other ones, obviously, are, are from the game makers. So, how do I... Oh, press space. There we are. What's the... Tell me, give me the draw for the next Lower one. Hat. Why not? Polite bartering has led to extreme compassion and a surfeit of contentment in this area. Not even a thick-skinned troll could survive the understanding and help these scummy people can provide. I look forward to showing them the way of the Dark Lord. But, not right now. This is just a one-off episode because I wanted to do it. Okay, bye!